Hello, hello YouTube, and welcome back to this channel of YouTube, well, channel of mine. Just gonna crack straight into this absolutely gigantic, bigger than I've ever done before Zara haul. I haven't shopped in Zara in a really long time, and to be honest, I just, you know, we just need a little bit of a bit of retail therapy. Shall we just crack on into it? Let's start with the first thing that I'm wearing. So I'm currently wearing these tight, I would say, what are they, flared leggings with a vent. What it means by vent is it's got that cute, like, cut out, I couldn't think you could see it because I've got black socks on. This like cut out bit at the bottom, if you know what I mean, why? I cannot stabilise myself. There you go, so then you can see your shoes underneath, which obviously we like because I'm not even going to say it, but I'm going to say it, chunky trainers, you know, they need their moment. I've got a bit of an elastic waist as well, so I feel like, you know, if you've got a bit of a food baby, you'd be alright for sure. They were 25 99 and they're in a size small. The only thing I will say though is they do feel a bit a bit too formal maybe, but I'm unsure because at the same time people wear, le wear leggings and this is sort of, sort of like the cross between between leggings and work trousers, so... You just want a pair of black trousers just to wear out and about. And then the second thing is a, b -b -l a bandier, bando, oh, satin crop, oh, it's just a satin crop top, 25 99 and in a size small. I'm not even surprised. The quality of Zara is just, like, impeccable. When I say you get hits and misses, it's definitely more hits than misses. And, you know, this is just, this is just doing bits, isn't it? Let's be honest. If you watch my last haul, I wouldn't say it's as mm, flattering and supportive and boosting, if you like, than the black denim one that I had. Well, it was a bit of a nightmare to get on, I'm not gonna lie, because the zip only comes up to here, and then you sort of got to struggle and get it over your head. But once it on its once it's on its fang, however, the chance of an issue occurring is feeling quite likely. Let me just show you what this looks like case up. So it's sort of like ruched here, and then it's got like a false bra underneath, and then there's no straps. Da -da -da -da. So if you're looking for the jeans and a nice top top, that's what we're here about. Next thing I got was a blazer. This was, whoa, this was $49.99. I do love a cropped blazer. I can't believe, well, I can't really say that to be honest because I don't own any cropped blazers, but I got it in black because I was like, you know, you know when you go on a night out and you just don't want to ruin your outfit with like a really ugly coat? Most people will say, well, then just don't buy a really ugly coat, but the ugly ones are the warmest ones, so. But I got this in size small. I don't know if this outfit together though is a little bit too formal, if you know what I mean. Maybe these two with a pair of jeans would look cooler. What are we, what are we thinking on this situation? The ordeal I just went through trying to get that bandeau off my body was actually excruciatingly horrid. You know when you've got a piece of clothing that's stuck to you that you're just like, I might actually just go get the scissors at this point. Yeah, do not buy a bandeau top or bandier, whatever the hell it's called, a corset top that you cannot completely undo because trying to get that off, absolutely nightmare. So that is definitely going back. I've got next this one, which is already no, as we can tell, because it's it's just absolutely huge. Where is the details? Where are the details? Oh, there it is. 29, 22 it's so small. And it's just gaping. It's absolutely... This is what I mean, I just don't understand the sizing. I really just, yeah, that's just a no for me. I, it's quite cute, you know, with the stitching and everything like that, but I think that even if it was tighter, it's just a little bit, it's just not me really. Anyway, these are in small and they fit perfectly. I can actually breathe in them. They're so comfy, they're really soft. I feel like they're very flattering, so I'm happy with these. This is cute. This was 20, both 22.99 in a size small. So this is really, really soft, very stretchy material. It's very thick, it's very warm. It feels like quite expensive. So yes, hand wash only. This is one thing I do not like about this range because I own something that's hand wash only and I very rarely wear it because I know that I've got a hand wash it and it's just, it's a long process. It's got these really cute pearl buttons that have like glittery diamonds around it. They also have this on the skirt as well, but these are covered by like some tissue paper and I'm not planning on keeping this outfit so I'm just not going to take them off. It's just very, very comfortable. Like, wow. I genuinely feel like I could just like go chill on the sofa in this. This is what it looks like from behind. It's very clueless, isn't it? If you're on that a little bit more of a clueless vibe, I think you're going to like this one for sure. It's an exciting little piece, isn't it? I thought I had to, had to show the world, even though everyone's already seen it. And Well, I don't know what I mean by the world, but you know what I mean. Next we got a little bit of Zara Satin, and Zara Satin, as we all know to all you High Street fans, is the best satin. This was £45.99 and I got it in a size small, and it is this pink satin dress. Didn't know if you could tell. It goes quite low, you know, so can you kind of see? It goes to like my mid shin. The thing I love most about this dress is this bit here because it's almost like its own top and like corset, if you know what I mean, which just gives, again, a little bit of lift, if you know what I'm saying. And we do love a little bit of a lift. This is the back of the dress, which I think is so beautiful. I just took about five minutes trying to figure out which way around to do it. And to all the bra wearers out there, you'd be very disappointed to know I had to turn this around to do up the cast. You can get in and out of the dress, which is what we need and what we love. Obviously, we know that with satin, it will show every lump and bump, and I literally just had like some pasta, so you can kind of 
see it emerging there. But for a summer wedding or a spring wedding or something, would this not be a lovely wedding guest dress thing? Or even like your little bridesmaids or something. I don't know if I would wear this on like a normal occasion. I'm unsure. I feel like it's a little bit on the fancier side, but I kind of almost wish that they did this in a mini dress version. How cute would that be if it was literally like, do you know what I mean? Like how cute would that be? So uh, Zara, if you're watching, which, duh, of course you are, <laughs> could be that. So yeah, love it. Glamorous. Considering the fact I just spoke about how much I love the satin from Zara, this is very different. So this is a little midi dress, this was 27 99 and I got this one in an extra small. Don't know why I just did. And it's just not as nice and it's not as flattering. Like, there's quite a bit of fraying at the bottom, the stitching's a little bit off. It's got this, like, mesh underlay which is like, quite scratchy as well. Um, this is the back of it. So the back's re re like, really pretty and you can adjust this bit to like make it tighter but it's just a bit like I've taken a bit of material and like cut it with scissors and then just like wrapped it around. That's how it feels and I feel like that's how it looks as well. Like all across here, it just, the quality just, it doesn't feel like it's been loved. Do you know what I mean? But like, you know, consistency is key. We like consistency because when we're consistent and it's consistently good, there will be your back. We'll be consistent customers, so. <laughs> Enough words of the consistency. I'm not feeling it. I'm really sorry, um, I don't think it's flattering and I just don't feel very nice in it. So top was 9 99 extra small to small and skirts 29 99 size small. We're moving into weird territory here, okay? It's getting a little bit weird. The outfits are getting a bit weirder. So this is just one of their usual basic tops. Absolutely love them. They're so soft on the inside, rip material on the outside, super stretchy. One thing I will say though is the other top I have of this, the straps are here. The straps being here just, it's just a no for me. I don't think that's flattering. Also they make these really long. I don't know who they're meant to fit, but surely these should be like tighter to then be more versatile to fit people. So they kind of just, they're not really doing much. So I'm unsure about this one, unfortunately. It's a shame because the material and everything's lovely. I just would move the straps to here and that's literally it. And then we're moving on to this skirt, which is, that's, that's like a maxi level, level skirt. It's like, it's quite meshy actually. I would say like three layers of mesh material like gone over to each other, but it's this beautiful light brown and a pastely green. And I saw it on the website and I was just kind of like, just reminds me of like mint chocolate chip ice cream. And I love mint chocolate chip ice cream. So like, you know, it's actually got a matching top. So this matching top I've got in a small, this was £27.99. Yeah, this is not the cheapest outfit, but it's airy fairy, so you're gonna be nice and cool for, you know, the warm spring months, which just don't occur because we don't even get warm summer months, let's be honest. It's got like quite floaty sleeves. What do you think of this together? I do feel like I'm sort of wearing like a national outfit. I don't know what country for, but it's giving me that sort of, yeah. Like this is just a really comfy outfit, you know? Like I feel floaty. Just lifted the top up because that actually looks so much nicer, doesn't it? because obviously that's how you would wear it. Maybe with like a smaller bralette underneath so you wouldn't see it. So I just thought I would show you that because I feel like that's made a little bit of a difference. So next up, we've got some trousers at 29.99 and I got these in extra small ones. They actually fit really nicely. Army cargo, what is it called? Camouflage trousers, <laughs> got there in the end. They just touched the ground on me. So that's them there. They've got like these little, um, I don't know what you would call this, but it's just like that little bit of extra material to give it a bit more funkiness. They fit really nicely, they have pockets. This is the back of them. I just think they look really flattering. I really like the colour, it's a little bit like, it's not too standy out, if you know what I mean. It's a little bit more faded and they are very comfortable. Quality is very nice, it feels a bit like linen, so they feel very airy fairy, which I love a bit of airy fairy. I don't even know why I wore tight trousers ever. Like, why did I do that for like years? And then this is what it looks like close up, so it's almost got like its own little belt here, which you can't actually tighten, so I don't really see the point of it. You just sort of do the buttons up and then thread it through. But yeah, with this top as well, it's kind of fitting, isn't it? I feel like it though, it's a little bit too fitting. So it looks a little bit too much like a military outfit. I've seen people wear these and I'm, they're like walking around and like, I'm like, that looks really cool. It reminds me of like a brat doll, which, oh, brats, brats beats Barbie every time. But I don't know, I think it's a little bit too much for me. If you are looking for some cargo trousers like this though, that would be pretty sick. I think if they had pockets, more pockets, you know, more cargo-ness, then I'd probably be more inclined to keep them. But yeah, with this top as well, I think it actually genuinely just looks like I'm genuinely in the military, which you'd think that'd be illegal, but it's not, so I don't know. Last, but by absolutely no means of least, we have a co-op. This was, both of them in a size small, 25 99 and the top half was 49 99 So you've got crossover stitching, I can't remember what it's called, cord, corduroy material. But this is corduroy? I'm unsure. I think it's just like woven, but it's very thick. Very comfortable, very durable feeling, and you're about to be a loose because you're looking at me thinking, girl, your skirt, skirt is a little bit short. I just gave it away. <laughs> That's because this is a skirt. So if anybody wore skirts when they were younger, did you hate them as much as I did? Because I used to think they were so ugly. To be fair, I still do. 
and I'm really sorry if that's an unpopular opinion, but uh, the skirt bit, love it. But I just think, I just think, like, this just makes me feel like I look like a little kid. I'm just not a fan of that. Like, the skirt is just like, well, bam, and this is just like, well, no. But then again, at the same time, it's good to, you know, have the shorts and you've got a little bit of a safety blanket. And then we've got this crop blazer. Yes, we've got another crop blazer. So what do we think of these together? I've got that little top underneath as well. How cute for, like, a night out. Like, you know, when you're trying to, like, have a bougie night out. I feel like this is great. And also, these can be mixed around so much. We need versatility in our wardrobes, people. It's lovely quality. It's going to last you a long time. You can pass it down to your grandchildren and say to them that you wore it in the times of absolute insanity. I think I really like it. I feel like you could wear this on your birthday. That's that's actually as far as I'm going. Maybe with a glittery top underneath. So yeah, that is the end of this haul. This massive haul. And now I've got to lug this massive box back to the post office. That is the unfart. Um, <laughs> that is the unfun part. Not the unfart. Of doing online shops. Yeah, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And again, always hope to see you in the next one. I hope to see myself there too. Bye!